Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's continue The Witcher 3. This is part 46. And um, in the previous part, I continued the main quest. Uh, I was doing the main quest and I also did uh, one of the side quests related to Guillaume. And that's it. And in this part I wanted to maybe do some side quests as well. We will see. Can't pull one over on me. I'm watching your flinty eye. Greed and last trump on our wisdom lies stripped of all. I mostly did the uh, La Cage of Fou and the uh, that quest with Anna Henrietta. With the vineyard, finding the responsible, the blackmailer. We'll see. I'll make this quest and I'll maybe continue the main line, the main quest. Line. Est, est flows. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Hmm. Yeah. Those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. Ravix of Forhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. I'm Geralt, not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shield bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? Don't feel like making a vow. Custom allows even for this possibility. 
May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Merci, merci. Oh man, it looks awful. <laughs> what? Running riot. Oh, I'm overweight. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Decoction. Decoction. Decoction of I'm not sure it's gonna work. They might clean me before I start the battle. Maybe it's a bad idea. Can I drop some... Some nonsense? Values peace and quiet. Very close. Right, Andrew, I need to sell all those swords. That's Maybe this Geralt, well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn knight errant? All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rain Fan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less. As if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of Quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Why not? Never turn down a round of Gwent. That is... Very true. A little bit of Gwen and life is amazing.
It's bad action. Congratulate you. We shall swap as agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Lady Fivian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. Fair knights, I salute you. The honor and duty of Tourney Patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the Tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have readied body and soul. The time has come to test them. Stipka, her voice is weird. <laughs> Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow. The targets he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Like a lover ghostly grasping but one fair teeth, Geralt's half strewn twitch joyous victory and bitter defeat. Geralt jumps ahead, leaves the others behind. <laughs> Sir Geralt of Rivia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. 
Thank you, my lady. Okay. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Good Can work. I remove the In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Claw marks, that's clear. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. Oh, fair Vivian. Thou hast Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic at work here. Scarlet. Thy two breasts are like. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Nea's and salts. Hmm. Used to make compresses. Oriole feather. Vivian keep a bird as a Someone bat. Someone approaches! Quickly! No sign of it here, if so. You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. Inspiration. <laughs> it looks so weird, man. Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous. Gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Save her their titles of their presence, be proud. I'm not proud of this. Palmerin, the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metida. Rainfarn of Atra. Home of a spark of Maked. Dunimir of Troy. Guy de Boisfren. In service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craig Yow. Count Ty of Don Dal. And say of Lyria and Rivia a prince. Geralt of Rivia. I'm For so sorry. For of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint fire of silence, Tony champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a great war in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a bard in deceit? Does someone need telling how Tony's proceed? How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother, Meath, Queen of Lyria and Rifia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, 
the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. <laughs> Ladies and man. gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the game. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. No, 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 no. No, no. No. Okay, I need to use my... He's off! We the thunders! I, I'll probably use something because... Oh no, I can use them. I can't... <laughs> wow. Wow. my inventory. I'm sorry. Things went horribly wrong. I didn't expect that. I ended up being naked. <laughs> naked. Wow. I love those mountains in the in the background. They look pretty good. Nice landscape. It's fused. I'm not sure why am I shooting three bolts instead of one. Did I learn some? Third person? I'm not sure. I don't quite remember. Of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. Speaking in rhymes. I congratulate you. Here, your price. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my mate saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Did you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile.
congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. I'll, I'll probably use my moon set because what can make it? It's weird. Oh no. Because it don't show him naked. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Sorry, don't drink while I work. Your presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. Come. <laughs> cool. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. Two. One. Oh, let me... Oh, okay. Nice. Let's use this heavy set. No? Like that. Executioner. I'm, a, I'm an executioner. I'll execute him. By the Witcher. All that from the poison. I pick my poison and it's you. Nothing can kill me like you do. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say you had a secret mission set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature until you did? Something like that. Minus the vow. And, uh... I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to duel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. Wow. This nights are weird. From being naked to being a Zoro Vendetta. <laughs> My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. What is this to The group to mean? melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. 
The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's Just tourney. Victoire. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will. Sorry. Yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. I'm cutting my mic when I'm memeing here. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Wow. Oh, 90. And this one looks better. Or not, I'm not sure. It's such a mess, I need to get rid of something, but get rid of what? I didn't have anything. What to do? To a girl of reverse shield. I need to start throwing all these things. It's clearly they're off. If you possible. Yeah, it's too heavy, man. And it looks awful. I don't, I don't really like it, so I have to drop it. I don't like, I don't like this one either. I, I'd like to use my new moon set. New moon boots. New gauntlets. And the trousers. Look at that stylish man. That gray dome scoundrel. Oh no 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 no! Where are my boots? Wait. Wait. If it's not boots, if everything is fine, why? Why when I'm running it makes this weird noise? Like a metallic something. I don't have anything metallic. What has happened? My boots are normal, new moon boots. I'm not sure what's happening. Hmm, strange. We're sure I'd find her here. Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere.
Ooh, that's exactly what I needed. One shot kill, I love it. There will be something crazy after this. We will see. Witcher. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa? A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, that I want it done here, in this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? Why, you are a witcher. You were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. <laughs> you shall that is a good one. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. Mama. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, it claimed their unborn daughter as its own. 
parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, but now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? A very interesting situation. I'm not sure what to do. Um. A very interesting curse indeed. Hmm. Well, let's let, let's return and then we'll see. Let's. But are you gonna? Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. Why not leave us a, a, this creature who can be alive? Well, you'll be like that, but you can still live. There are succubus and, and, and other creatures. You can change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Interesting. Great. 
Kam. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. I wanted to save, man. <laughs> I wanted to save. Oh, boy. Um. But saving for what? That's the problem. What to do in this situation? It's better to have seven years then have nothing at all, right? Then be a bestial creature. But at the same time, as Geralt said, you can transfer the curse on someone else. I mean, I said the problem is that yet again the situation is unsolvable. There is no good outcome. The problem is that Disappear, disappear. The problem is that um, they only give us two options. So she either you either lift the curse and she will live for seven years, or you transfer it. You will transfer it on who? Obviously on Guillaume. And maybe the curse will be way lesser than it actually is. But is it fair, you see? The problem is that it's kind of hard because I'm thinking with the logic of a real life. And in the real life, things are a little bit more complicated, you see? The problem is that you you can like someone you can even take the responsibility of something some men for example they take responsibilities of, of kids of of girls they date they like and they kind of become as as, as some kind of fathers to to those kids some people pay debts for other people some help them somehow differently, I don't know. Giving your kidney, kidneys or something to, to your beloved one who is dying. But the problem is that in real life, you see, people... You can like someone or love someone but look at the statistics and I already told you that. Look at the statistics. The vast majority of couples break up in what? One, two, three years? The average is around maybe two years. So people date. A lot of people sleep together. And then in two years they break up. Because this kind of um, romantic and strong... Uh, the romantic period and strong emotions, they only last for... On average, one year, two years, or something. So, after two years, you might understand that, oh, I actually don't like this person. I liked him or her before, but not anymore. And so, the question is, if you take the responsibility of that, uh, of, 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 I don't know, helping that person somehow, Paying a debt or taking care of someone or taking the curse for yourself. Will that be fair? In two years you will break up. That person will be free. 
but you will live with those consequences all your life. So, you see, I, I don't know, I, I'm kind of, I tend to take this approach of the real life, so you shouldn't, it's important to help people, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, it's important. But, um... Taking someone else's burden on you, we got our own load to carry. I was saying charge, but it's not a charge. Charge is more like a, something military. So everyone got its own load to carry or a burden to carry. We can't take someone else's burden. But at the same time, it's not a it's not a real world, that's the problem. Things that work in this game do not work in real world. There is no magic, there are no creatures, there are no witchers, sorceresses, there is no Tusan or Valen, Nilfgaard or Temeria. In real world there are humans, men and women, and that's it. And things are kind of, they, I don't want to say they are, they are simpler, but like, like, I guess it's more like about shades, about nuances, about different situations. Um, so our life is complicated as well, just in a different manner. So I'm I'm not really sure what to do in this situation. Let's, for the sake of the game, for the sake of example, let's suppose that they will live, uh, like in fairy tales, live uh, live long and happily after uh, for the eternity. In such case, well, then even if she will feel. Um, kind of responsible for for all the situation if he takes her curse on himself and she will live with him she will love him and, and, and stuff because it's a kind of a fairy tale a nightmarish fairy tale land I hate this game. Seriously, they always give us these unsolvable situations. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually though, the stakes are just too high. Most times, sometimes in choosing greater evil, you do good. Albeit in a small way, albeit in a small way. Most times you make a choice and never look back. And it's it's awful because I always come back to this idea. This game really, it's like a, it's really like a vicious circle. It's a never ending circle. They always give you situations like that and you don't know what to choose. And you always come back to the to the place where you started, to this phrase that I'm, if I'm to choose between a greater and a lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. But there is no third option. <laughs> Why are there are only two options? Oh man. I need to think. It's not fair to um, make someone else suffer because of your problems. 
But the curse will be weaker based on what Geralt said. Guillaume is ready to sacrifice himself. It's his choice and he wants to help her. It's a kind of a fairy tale land. So let's, for the sake of choosing something, let's choose to um, tell him the truth and he will help her by taking this um, burden, by carrying this burden, taking it from her. A, a real knight. Real knight. And in real life we got guys who make girls pregnant and leave them with, with kids. And so girls um, at 20 years old they become single mothers or at 23 doesn't matter oh boy we were both right actually it is a curse one that's transforming Vivian into a bird her conditions getting worse gods a curse that is a worse affliction than disease what now can you help her that'll depend on her I'll try if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. Tough case. Curses hold on her grow stronger every day. And I'm a witcher, not a miracle worker. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice, give my life for her, just as King Friedank's knight did for the beautiful Queen Sero. Knew that already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? Don't know yet. But you have some notion, have you not? Do not tell me you seriously consider drastically shortening her life when I stand prepared to shoulder the burden. Method using a pool of water is better. Poses no threat to Vivian. Naturally. Y you must know you can count on me. I shall bear it all. But Vivian, I fear she might be too proud to agree to such a thing. I'll meet her after the last contest. Talk to her. She could agree. I'm counting on you, Witcher, and I'm content we finally know something. What now? We know all, so you need not see the tourney through. You could withdraw. True, I shall get an earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last contest, but it's nothing I can't handle. So, what will it be? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of Southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. 
Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight full tilt till one stops to its knees. Who virtue ignores or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Get that sword. Blue and red. Let us begin! Clout, Resaracus! Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in bucket. I don't want to turn like that. To the left. For two souls! You shall finish, evil dwarf! The sword looks interesting. What if I use R? Never retreat, not one step, not one foot pull. Tout ça. <laughs> the world's never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such fervor, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rivia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sails through all trials, each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last, will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of last his tourney. To sound such a mean man. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. Oh, oh no, Gregoire. The titan's locked stairs. Why, he, why he's two times wolf, bigger than me? Mesdames et Messieurs, our victor, our champion, the unequal and silent Gregoire de Gorgon! Hip, hip, hooray! 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 And now a few words from our sponsor, the Tupo Vidya. For strong bones and feet, drink Tupo. A wine for your table, a wine for your soul. Get out! 
Atlanta Free Fire! This is champion! A sight to behold! He defeated Grégoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! Herald! As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor to decorate our grand champion. He made no vow, yet throughout the tourney demonstrated knightly virtue that doubtless carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's champion of the arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk will guard you. The least you should do is me. Yourself on that. She looks like a hedgehog from behind, like Sonic. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure. I want to tell you something, though. I think we should try the alternate method first. I was clear. It is out of the question. Let me finish. Second method's less than reliable. To put it simply, might work, might not. But it will. I shall save you, oh lovely Vivian. Why are you here, sir? This is a private conversation. No need to be sharp with him, my lady. And if I'm to help you, gotta do one thing for me. Hear what Guillaume has to say. Is that an ultimatum? Looks to be. Be not angry, my lady. You no longer bear this burden alone. I know all. You told him! I know a curse afflicts you. A curse which grows more severe by the day. I understand how you feel. My aunt, Countess de Lonfol, once contracted a strange illness which ate away at her from the inside. She grew weaker by the day, the light fading from her eyes. I remember her saying the worst was not the pain, but losing mastery of her own body. She was so helpless. I fear you feel the same. The Witcher knows a way to lift the curse from you and let it rest on me. I wish to do this, to take it from you, Vivian. Why? Because I love you. I might have died in the arena. I sought to slay a Shailmar for you. But now I see the fool I was. Now I see how I risked my life for no purpose. Yet with this, I can truly do something for you. I do not wish to inflict this horror on anyone. You saw how it looks, Witcher. I turn to you as one elder and hopefully one wiser as well. Do you think this a good idea? Worth a try, as I see it. Original curse fell on an unborn child. Doubt it'll take hold as strongly when transferred to a full-grown man. You've now heard the expert opinion. Let us do this together, Vivian. Very well. I was prepared to die. Thus, I am also prepared to attempt something mad. Now we must go to my pool in the woods, yes? Everything's agreed, so no point wasting any more time. Let's go. All the sacrifice that he's making. And for what? Does she love him? That's the question. Does she love him? Because it's great that he has some feelings for her. But does she feel the same?
I hate to sound. <laughs> oh man. The aunt you mentioned. What became of her? She passed on. Why I'm walking like a knight? What are those sounds? Oh, beast. Attack! <laughs> I'll attack! <laughs> oh man, this sounds such a mean. my true form it is not too late you may still change your mind it will bring no shame my mind is made up my resolve is firm if you can handle it so will I you are beautiful to me even as you stand now oh that's clearly rubbish Shut your eyes, both of you, and don't move. Guillaume? Yes, my love? If you become as I am now, I wish you to know I shall not leave you. Picture yourselves reflected in a pool of water. Focus on that. Damn, I think it might have worked. I want to eat some worms. <laughs> yes. How do you feel in general? You feel it change, Guillaume? I was struck hard as if by a battering ram, but now I, I feel not at all different, apart from a slight itch on my skin. Are you certain it worked? Yes, something happened, definitely. Must be an intersection beneath this pond. Powerful magic at work here. Look at Vivian. What now? You're pretty love birds. You can fly into the nature. <laughs> you get to live happily ever after. <laughs> Oh man, this is such a meme, serious oh, boy. Oops, sounds calm. Up to you now. Here's hoping you'll solve your own problems and never run into any that require a witcher. Still, watch yourselves carefully. Notice any troubling symptoms? Find me. Naturally. I thank you, Garrett. Oh, and your payment. Oh, at last! I have so much to make up for. Balls to attend, distant lands to see. Free at last, as a bird. Ha! Huh? I found you droll. I had not noticed before. But you will not fly away without me. That remains to be seen, I think. But I too must thank you, Witcher. 
Don't mention it. You take care of both. It's like she changed her nature after the after the transformation, which is weird. I'm not sure what to think about it. Good tidings? Greetings, Garo. Hail be praised. Hail be praised. So, so many balls to, to attend and stuff. Oh, man. I'm not sure what to think about it. Come on, Roach. That's kind of weird. It feels very weird to be completely Take honest it. with you. It's just, I just don't know what to think. I well I don't want to say I despise but I have a very bad opinion about all this balls sore ass and stuff I don't like people who, who visit them uh, a lot of them are snobs um, her reaction was weird at the end and there are a lot of things that are bothering me. But I guess... What can I say? Guillaume made his own choice, right? I can... I can... Force him to do something. If he was... <laughs> how, how can I say Your reputation um, you, Gary. politely? If he was foolish enough to take this curse Patrolling on an empty for stomach. a girl you're not even Let's sure go. about, you're not even sure that she likes you, then I mean, it's kind of weird this probably his punishment. I don't know. Oh boy. Who else? Oh. Pierre. Guillaume Benoit. Sacre bleu. It's a crime. <laughs> You're from the north. That's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. In the mood for a round of Gwent? I despise all this. <laughs> I didn't want to use this word. I just didn't know how to describe it. I really don't like these balls and sores and people who, 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 who visit them and uh, people who pretend that, like, um, it's a higher society, uh, bourgeois, sorcerer, uh, uh, wine, uh, foie gras. <laughs> Man, that is awful. Oh. That's amazing. Bitten frost plus three spice.
I didn't see any sane, adequate person visiting balls and stuff. I don't know. I, I'm, my opinion is really bad about balls. All about, uh, you know, especially those, those things. They're, they're kind of, they're kind of like balls, but um, not exactly, but very similar. All those, you know, galas that uh, in in United States. Uh, that, these celebrities are making doing I don't know who's even doing that but uh, someone's doing them and they're like yeah yeah let's invite on these celebrities where we're good and stuff oh, oh boy it's for the elite and they dress fancy with all those weird dresses oh man I don't despise those people, I more like I despise all that snob behavior. Some of them are normal, but some of a lot of them actually, a lot of them are dressing very weirdly. I think I've seen some photos or something of 20, Gala 2023 or something like that. Well, balls are not that different. Normal people they don't visit walls and stuff. I can't. I, I just can't stop speaking about it. To calm down, young man. Normal people, they just gather together. They don't need to dress fancy and uh, eat, uh, champ uh, drink champagne and caviar and, and all those things, you know. Oh man. I haven't seen a single sane person visiting such events. Of course, I don't speak of such people, but... Um, I watched some videos about... Um, Basically, people, um, there are there are a bunch of channels on YouTube who take um, uh, threads from uh, Reddit and they are just reading them uh, aloud. That's it. Um, and there were questions about um, rich people and hotels, and people were saying that. A lot of rich people they're doing such a nasty things in those hotels they uh, they can even I don't know buy whole floor to make some feasts and orgies and stuff things that they are doing there and they're thinking that it's fine because they have money 
man, that is, that is awful. It doesn't mean that everyone does it on, on balls, but b balls are different. But still, it's, it's, it's awful. <laughs> you should calm yourself. Northern Dandy. Sure, Pierre. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Elegant Beauclair doublet. Three... Three hundred? That is... What are those prices, man? Three hundred. Girl of Rivia, Rivia sword. Girl of Rivia sword. Sword. One. Three hundred. I already have elegant. I have very similar things to see, so I'd rather buy this one. But three hundred. I have some I have masks for that. Thanks. Think ever your servant, sir. I really feel like I'm visiting a, a ball, man. What are those prices? I'm a poor student and I don't have money for that. I need something less expensive. Not, not all of that. This one, and Beauclair, Beauclair shoes, boots, and this one. Yes. Ooh, look at that stylish man. Um. There will be guys who will attack me, I can almost guarantee you that, but well, I will burn them with Igni. I need a mask. I can hold this mask. Look at that. Wow. Don't crowd around! Someone will attack me, I feel it. If I remember correctly, someone attacks you when you go there. During your um a little a voyage. Voyage. Oh, the witch Oh no. Dance and repeat till the beat is through. Closed? Why we wrote that? Maybe not King Foltus, maybe I, I'll take that other mask. What is that other mask? And then this one. Harley Quinn? Harley Quinn? I look like a guy from a uh, from a play, like a, from a Dandelion's play, man. Late. Does that not surprise me? Hmm. Well, well. I did 
did not expect you to have such a sense of style. Not all bad. Nothing like a budding artist, of course, but... Just one other detail. Here, put it on. A mask? All who attend the Mandragora Soiree wear them. If you have one on, no one asks who you are. Any idea why they wear masks? Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. There you go. Let's go. Soiree's started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. How do we find the Sintrian? Have you a plan? Key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora's Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. A shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? The third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the Orchid. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kuviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Like, don't get me wrong, there's something good about people who are, who know how to talk, who know how to handle them. That's amazing. There is something about it. But there is a difference between people who are dressed nicely, stylish, who know how to act properly, and snobs. As weird as it sounds, but that's how it is, you see. I have seen a lot of Christian people who are dressed well, who know how to talk, yet they are humble and they're adequate, you see. There is a difference. So you can be dressed well, yet be humble. But you... But as I said, during this bolts or soares or something, the vast majority of people 
they are not here to be to have some kind of a dignity you see some guys are here just to get laid some people are here to you know show off or something or to especially that their identities are kind of hidden so they can do a lot of weird things or say weird things you see and be you kind of stay anonymous no that's a big no that's a big red flag while if you want to speak with people who are polite and respectful and have some dignity they are not doing any weird things no weird rituals or not sleeping with anyone not getting drunk like i don't know what it's it's totally fine and i speak with such people and i absolutely adore people who are respectful calm and humble these people who are here they are not like that i can almost guarantee you that 95 percent of them are not like that or even 100 percent Good folk, yet another soul. It's not a landscape, you pleb. It's a manifestation of the man's soul. Blue blood is all I see. I can pull them. Okay, there are only two of them. Fair. Good color. Scarlet, crimson, box blood. Should you tire of these hues, drop them in the pain. Let green, lush and verdant as a field of vines. To vines and to wine! Yellow. Why every yellow? What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to be looking for a cintra. What am I doing? I'm throwing, <laughs> I'm throwing balls. Oh man. Yes, it's sure to be a masterpiece. Oh, quite the noble color. Splendid. The sky over Toussaint before a storm. Voila, fine. Now, allow me a moment to point. My appraisal? The painting depicts spiritual dualism. The continual battle between good and evil. And defiance <laughs> oh yes that's him all right good versus evil the dualistic nature of man and defiance can i take this uh, piece of art with me he's a dancer that's to say the other one absent the preferred hooch of artists. Careful, it packs a pretty powerful punch. I've built up a pretty powerful resistance. Such talent. Exception true. Would I ever have to? Oh, that was fast. This is a bit Let's take a reminder. Greetings. Pretentious. I was prepared for all sorts of criticism, but <gasps> pretentious. Wait, what? No. Blah blah blah. Effont guard, schmeffont guard. It's all about two things. Co pretentious. I was exceptional true. Blah blah blah. Effont got schmeffont got. Need I remind you that neither did you. Need to find a woman. Why are they always naked? Do not disturb. Shoo shoo. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Good. 
We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But why? Centrian Noble you came here with. with. Wanted to ask you about him. Centrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. But I did see the nobleman. Really like to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame, monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. Anna Henrietta is calm, which is weird. She's not being bossy. She needs to attend such places a little bit more, I suppose. A little bit more often. Like that she can uh, calm herself a little bit. Cause she's been bossy all the time. Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. This was scratched. Someone beat him with it once. It must be something here. Empty heart-shaped box. Cecilia must have left it behind. It looks like it held a flask of perfume. A gift from the Synthrian, I imagine. The scent still hangs in the air. Let's follow it. Let's, uh, let's make some. Look at the mage. I believe he's casting spells. Yeah, we'll see. What mage? Can I throw some? My regards. Do you eat poetry, sir? No one is nearly as young as us. My ah, do you eat how beautiful. <laughs> the dolphins, that is no ordinary illusion. The man is a true artist. Impressive. Look, the lanterns. They say releasing them brings good luck. Fine. Let's give it a try. Never suspected you believed in such things. That is interesting. Okay, so I participated in all the events. But what if he doesn't come? He'll definitely come. Don't worry. How can you be so sure? Brother, dearest. Trust me. Sorry, only artists in the Mandragora allowed. Come, we must consider what to do. I... I'd recognize that voice anywhere. You... you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served 15 years in the palace. Your Grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh! Not so loud. We are here incognito, on state business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. Looking for Cecilia Bellant. Seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall. Broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. That must be him. We must get to the dressing room, quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. Quickly, upstairs. I need to save. Oh, man. Let me say. Wow. It's 
Let's see. Massacre. That, that must be Cecilia. No pulse. We're too late. He, he slit her throat. The brute. Mm, didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Get up, I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. Geralt, I will... Oh no, why do you see the mic? Uh, Geralt, I will be fine. How, how will you be fine? Not like you can cast magic or something. Hmm. Killed her, then went out on the balcony. Came to find the killer, but <laughs> just stealing all the gold things. Well, I'm not proud of myself. Bloody handprint. Mm -hmm. It's his. Tore down the door. Made a platform. Clever. Must Broke be pretty the strong. Bob to the door, then stepped in the soil. Footprints made by soiled boots. Must have climbed this ladder. Could still be here. Need to stay alert. Blood stains. into it hard and sank to the floor links of a snap chain jewel must have been on it precious stone bloody fingerprint on it thief came for this must have tiny chain links next to it from a snapped necklace seems there was a struggle jewelry box locks busted picked open probably Sconce is bent, smeared with blood. Someone try to grab it. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out, fall out. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Empty inkwell. Knocked over, turned toward the room. Canvas is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. Hunting knife. Richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though. So our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here, but I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last, finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail.
I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Well, not gonna lie, she's quite useful. And it's great that she's doing something herself and not sitting in her... on her throne or whatever kings and queens sit. She's actually actively participating in it. And it she's been bossy and that's bad. She's been... She got a lot of bad qualities, but she got some good qualities as well. Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir, Roderick, returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society preferring the company of a small team of knights, though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again, by anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. Oriana. Any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. Who were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether.
My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see, I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. That's not normal. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys, but I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Tusa. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen, or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain, though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her. Sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt, I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! I had no idea you were in Beauclair. And this is... Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretane, an arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the Witch's Hunt. Ah, uh, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages, literally. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Seem surprised. Why? I never would have suspected Regis to find common ground with a Witcher. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. 
Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. For what might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep-cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. When I help Regis, know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. Very awkward situation, man. <laughs> the only person that doesn't An know anything is Anna Henry. Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Oriana, she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, uh, before I met you, and before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, uh, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. She's not... Uh, he's not mentioning that she's a... Uh, they're the same kin. She's a Bruxa. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm-hmm. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntine Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't be the word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got a way with- No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detlaf. Good luck, my friend. Splendidly, Detlaf. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis. Gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace. Always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? Well, I want to speak with the girl. You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive, sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost, which is why he comes across as grim. 
Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm hmm Gotta go to Dantine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count Lacrosse Mill. It stands along the Saint Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Bossy, bossy. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end. This is the end of part 46. I did some quests. It took me a lot of time to help Guillaume. And it took me some time to uh, make this quest with Anna Henrietta. And I will continue very soon in part 47. I'll probably continue the main quest line. But we'll see. I don't know. You never know. That's it for now.